This time on Jay Hunto's Garage, I review the Husky Spray Gun. There's no one like you. I, can't wait for the I have a kit that came with two of them. They're both feed the paint from the top, like so, which is the first gun like this I've ever had. The other vehicles I've painted, which have been many, including motorcycles and vans, in my driveway. not here but in another state and uh, that was from a siphon feed gun which brings the paint up from a canister on the bottom of the gun as you can see this is the opposite of that but it's an excellent gun I'll show you here comes with some strainers which go in here and they actually uh, are your last I don't know when it will end. anyway they go in here they're your last resort before your last straining or filtering before the paint actually goes into the gun and has a chance to plug things up these are two different guns here you'll notice this one's max of 40 psig and this one is a max of 50 psig I don't remember exactly what those were about. One is, uh, this one is, what they call that again? High volume, low pressure. And the other one they just call, yeah, HVLP, high volume, low pressure. And this one is just gravity feed spray gun. Anyway, I shot primer with this yesterday on the Camaro project car, which is right here. And I was very pleased with it actually came out very nice the uh, it sprayed just like it should have sprayed I'm now gonna call that my primer gun and my other one will be my paint gun I bought two quarts two quarts of rust-oleum primer filler high build formula to uh, basically sand most of it off to get the body, the imperfections out, get the body straight. And turns out these are ready to shoot with, uh, they're already reduced. So anyway, I like the gun. Uh, this is a moisture trap, pretty important. It doesn't come with it, I had that separately. And it comes with some filters that you'll need because this stuff sits in auto parts stores for a long time and there's solids at the bottom of it and it ends up uh, being pretty nasty in there. No matter how much you mix it, you're not getting rid of that. So you definitely got to strain your paint, your primer, whichever. So uh, this kit comes with some smaller containers for smaller jobs, which is good. And it comes with the extra uh, paint cup, which is going to be for paint. I'm going to keep one dedicated for primer, one for paint. That uh, you don't want to put primer in your paint gun. If you clean it out right, it shouldn't make a difference. But as a rule of thumb, it's good just to keep paint, paint, and primer, primer in your guns. So anyway, that's what I wanted to share with you guys today. And uh, once I get this done and sanded, then I'll do a video on the paint, maybe, depending on how good it comes out. And uh, still got some other things to do on it still, like uh, T-top gaskets, the seals that go around there. Uh, I'll probably change the door gaskets as well. And there's some other things I want to do. And eventually I'll do an LS1 swap. 
The V6 engine is just not, just doesn't do it. Gotta have a V8. Anyway, uh, it's definitely not a torque monster, and uh, I'd like to do a little more with it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Go out and work on something, and uh, watch my other videos. Thanks for watching.